guys, welcome back to Waxing On. It's Monday, and that means it's jazz. And today we're going to look at a player who we've mentioned a number of times as a sideman with other bands, but today we're going to feature one of his albums. And this is the only album I have of his in my collection, Tom Scott. Sax man, L.A. session man. Uh, this one's called New York Connection. Instead of being recorded in the West Coast, he recorded it in New York. And you'll probably recognize a few of the names from the New York session players that are on here. I'll mention in a few moments. Tom Scott, uh, he's led groups. He's part of the LA Express, which you may recall we mentioned as a backup band for Joni Mitchell during her Miles of Isles album that we looked at. He uh, has recorded with the Blues Brothers. Both of their albums, uh, Made in America and Briefcase Full of Blues, featured Tom Scott. He didn't appear in either of the Blues Brothers movies, though. He had also composed uh, film scores, TV scores. He was one of the three composers that were uh, writing theme song for Starsky and Hutch during its run. He also did music for Streets of San Francisco. Now, he was also called to uh, do a movie with Aykroyd and Belushi. Now, again, he played with them during the Blues Brothers, and when they did a movie called Neighbors, Tom Scott was called to do the music. Now, you would probably expect with a show called Neighbors, we've got Aykroyd, we've got Belushi. Aykroyd's going to be the straight-laced, you know, prim and proper fellow. Belushi's going to be like Bluto back in there, just the wild man. Uh, this time they changed it around. A little bit of reverse casting. Belushi was straight-laced. Ac Aykroyd was the wild one. And it wasn't really working. So what do they do? Let's change the score. Let's get rid of the Tom Scott score. We'll get Bill Conti to come in and do it. I mean, Bill Conti had a great uh, run of success with movie soundtracks. Same thing kind of happened to Joe Jackson. If you remember, we talked about him uh, quite a few months ago now with his soundtrack to the movie Mike's Murder, that he had done the soundtrack, but when it came finally time to release it, John Barry had covered a lot of material to kind of add to it. So for some reason, a lot of times when they have movies that really aren't clicking, First thing they do, look to the soundtrack. So this happened to uh, Tom Scott as well. So his music was taken off of Neighbors. But he has done a lot of uh, movie TV work. This album, recorded in New York, and you're going to recognize a few of the names if you've been following the show or if you follow uh, New York players. The New York Rhythm Section, Ralph McDonald on percussion. Hugh McCracken on guitar. Eric Gale on guitar. I mean, great jazz man. We've got Gary King on bass. Steve Gadd. On drums, and we've mentioned Gad a few times with different groups he's been with. Uh, Richard T. on keyboards and Bob James, electric piano. And you can kind of hear the Bob James influence on some of this. Um, it was recorded at Hit Factory in New York City. This was back in 1975. It's a 19, uh, yeah, probably about 1976 it came out. It's one of the few Tom Scott albums I picked up, and I think I got it as a discount bin fine, if you can imagine that. We've got some great session players, though, that maybe aren't from New York. Over on my other side here, uh, side two of it, Chuck Finley back on trumpet. Remember, we mentioned him last week as being one of the great L.A. session players. He was playing alongside of uh, Jack Sheldon on the One from the Heart album with Tom Waits and Crystal Gale. We've got Bob James back in here again. We've got a song called Apollonia. Who's playing slide guitar? Why, it's George Harrison from the Beatles. Can you imagine? George Harrison doing a slide guitar solo in here for Tom Scott. We've also got uh, Dick Hyde on trombone, bass trombone. Uh, Eric Gale back doing bass on this case. All arrangements by Tom Scott. Now, a lot of the tunes, you may not recognize the names. I'll just give you a rundown of them. We've got Dirty Old Man, um, guitar solo Eric Gale. Uptown and Country, we've got Hugh McCracken doing slide guitar and harmonica. New York Connection, Bob James is an electric piano featured. Garden, Tom Scott soprano. Woodwinds and electric piano. And Time and Love, we've got Tom Scott on flute. Tenor sax and uh, the Arp String Ensemble. Side two, we've got Midtown Rush. Again, saxophones in the Arp String Ensemble. Tom Scott. Looking out for number seven, of course, we've got Scott in here. We've got Bob James again on electric piano. Apollonia we just talked about with having uh, George Harrison, but he also, Tom Scott playing Lyricron on this one as well. So another instrument we've added to the mix. And the final tune, You're Gonna Need Me, that's where we brought in all the big players. Tom Scott on baritone, tenor, 
Eric Gale bass, Slide Hyde on trombone and bass trombone, Chuck Finley on trumpet. It's a really interesting album. I mean, you're not going to go wrong with Tom Scott. This one, very accessible. While we're featuring it on the jazz show, I don't want to say easy listening. I mean, it's got some great tunes, some great vibes to it, some great rhythms. It's, it's not Kenny G, but it's not going to be, you know, Charlie Parker or John Coltrane. It's a little more accessible than that for uh, people that want to get into jazz. There's some nice melodies, some nice rhythms, nice production. It reminds me a lot of some of the things we heard on uh, Creed Taylor's albums in the 70s. And what we're checking out. Now, look down the streaming networks. This album wasn't available, but some of the tunes from this album were. So, again, you shop around, you might find the full album. It could be on YouTube. Some of the other streaming networks might have it. I checked the main one that people like to use, and best I could find was the best of or greatest hits of Tom Scott, and some of the songs from this album are included on that. So that's it for Monday. Something to check out. A great session man. He's been around for years. He's pretty much played with everybody out on the, the West Coast. He's done a lot of TV, movies, and, again, some solo albums that really feature a different side of Tom Scott. Okay, that's it for today, Monday. Hope everybody had a great weekend. I don't know about you, but it's cold up here. We've been running the minus 20s Celsius for the last few days, so it's pretty frosty, so kind of nice to be inside and just listening to some music for a change. So we'll see you on Wednesday. Wednesday is Classic Rock. Till then, everybody take care. Stay safe. Thanks for stopping by.